Hello and welcome to my Tarot Corner. And this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a long while. And now today there aren't a lot of news, uh, despite uh, uh, one of Neil Sean's uh, videos about Joe, Joe Rogan uh, uh, being um, uh, wanting to help the Sussexes in producing their podcasts, showing him them how it how it can be done. And so this is another reading that I will do today, and there is another request that uh, I got that I will do today as well. So uh, expect three videos from me today. So this video is going to be about a subject that I've been wanting to do for a long while, and I'm using the vice versa tarot for it, uh, because it is... Uh, I would have used the Tarot of Opposition, but because the uh, these cards are smaller, uh, I can get more cards on my table. So uh, this table is very small. So uh, the vice versa Tarot allows me to, first of all, use my intuition and then uh, get the uh, interpretations of the uh, reversed uh, cards as well and the reversed cards are not uh, reversing the uh, the meaning of the card so for example if uh, a card means victory and it comes in the reverse it doesn't mean that the victory is not going to happen what it means is that the uh, negative aspects of these cards are coming out. Now, this is something that can happen when uh, you see cards be beside that the, the card that are bad cards, so they uh, are expecting the card in a negative way. So you can see the bad aspects of the card. And another way is using a decks like this that allow us to see the negative uh, aspects of the card as well and this is about an in, uh, about megan being an imposter so this is a, a spread that is called imposter and it is about uh, why is she an imposter is she um, and why why is she doing that what is the reason behind that what can what does she acknowledge uh, what is she comparing herself to others? So this is a, a little bit of uh, uh, delving into Megan's psyche. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I thought that today would be a great day for that. Um, Neil Sean, uh, in one of his videos today said that uh, there is a rumor that they are going to be silent for six months uh, in order to not uh, not uh, be uh, uh, damaging for the Jubilee celebrations, but he uh, said that it is completely, uh, completely BS because they cannot afford to be silent. They need to get out there and be in the public eye. Otherwise, they will be completely forgotten. So, I'm going to ask uh, about Megan. Is she an imposter and why? What is uh, the psyche behind that? What does she need to... Uh, to hear and why did she does she deserve what she gets so first of all I'm going to clear the cards and now I'm going to ask so Megan is she an imposter or does she really believe what she says if she is an imposter then why what is she gaining from it what is the things that she needs to acknowledge. Why is she an imposter? What is behind the way that she's acting? 
So, Megan, is she an imposter? And if she is, then why? So, I'm going to uh, cut the deck. And in this spread, I am uh, closing my eyes when I'm doing this. So, I won't be... Uh, because I can see the card, so I don't want to see the card because I always take the middle one. And I did want to talk about the fact that the why am I using all kinds of uh, uh, spreads, but I will do that later. So why? The, the answer to why is she an imposter is because she does not want to work hard and get nothing for it. This card is a card of an apprentice. This is a card of someone who is in a way learning uh, the craft, learning how to, uh, to do things. This is someone who is working hard but is not receiving a lot. And this is the card that tells us why she's an imposter. Why is she trying to convince the world in th uh, that she is not who she, uh, who she really is? Because this is, some, this is a card that tells us that this is what she needs to do in order to uh, be uh, or to gain what she wants to gain. Things have to uh, to uh, occur in a, uh, in uh, uh, in a way that you know you start something you're learning how to do that and at the beginning and when you are learning you're not earning a lot. For example, when I was uh, learning to be a pediatrician, I was working as a resident in the hospital and I was earning peanuts. So this is the uh, this is what she's supposed to do. This is what she needs to do. And because she is a, an imposter, this is something that she cannot. She doesn't want. She wants to skip this uh, this stage and go right to the nine of pentacles, which is profit after working hard. But she is still in this. Um, in this energy and this is something that she doesn't want so she feels that she's sacrificing herself she feels that she's uh, reducing her own worth she feels that everything is too hard to get and uh, uh, she feels that the effort is much too hard for her and this is why she's an imposter because she wants people to believe that she is actually going, uh, uh, deserves to be in the energy of the nine of pentacles. So this is the why. Now, what does she need to acknowledge? And what she needs to acknowledge is the star. And the star is a card of a opening Pandora blocks. So, the star is a card that can be interpreted in many ways. This is the star upright. And the star is a, is a card that speaks about mental health. It speaks about the need to talk about things, the need to open Pandora box. This is a, a card about secrets that need to come out. And she needs, this is something that she needs to acknowledge that uh, being an imposter is something that will come out in the end. This is something that she cannot hold on for long. And this is something that she needs to acknowledge. This is about troubles that can come up. This is about secrets that can cause problems. This is about ignoring that, ignoring the secrets. And if she doesn't acknowledge uh, the, the fact that she needs, that these secrets will come out in a way and the Pandora box will be opened, uh, she will, if she doesn't acknowledge that, she will not end in a good way. Now, the card, the, the, the star card also has a side of love energy and uh, naivety, but uh, it's usually uh, a card of someone who really needs uh, 
to open that Pandora box, to share the real her, to stop being an imposter. And this is what she needs to acknowledge. And if she doesn't, it will end up in a bad way. So uh, what does she need to do in order to stop comparing herself to others? And this is another major arcana. And this major arcana is death. And this is uh, amazing because this is the third time that I've been getting death for her, but this it, for the Sussexes. The, so the Sussexes really want to change their own uh, uh, public uh, image. They want change. They want things to change. But this death card came in a negative way. So these changes are a bad changes. This is something that are not a, these are not these are not changes for the good. These are things that a, a, if we can say it's feeling a, that nothing is actually changes. This is about feeling that not everything is the same. And when this card comes in uh, the place of the need to stop to compare herself to others. She needs to stop comparing herself to others. She needs to realize that her public image is something that depends on the way that she acts, not by comparing herself to others and trying to uh, make people believe that she is uh, the uh, someone else and not the way that she is really. So this is a feeling that everything is the same. This is feeling that change is not coming, that she cannot change her public image. This is about feeling that, uh, uh, in a way, uh, frustrated that nothing she does changes the way people see her. And in this death card, when it is a, in the opposite way, we see people here that are watching the death uh, coming. These people, we see them watching. So these are the people that she needs to convince that she is uh, different. And I want you to see that person in the middle, this woman in the middle that is actually doing some kind of a, a yoga um, um, movement uh, and she's naked. So Megan, and this could be a, a representing Megan, this is something that is coming from my intuition because this card is different and this is why I'm using all kinds of cards. So Megan needs to realize that in order to change her public image, she needs to be naked and be naked not in the, uh, in the uh, actual being naked. Both cards are of women that are naked. This is taking out all the secrets. This is uh, about uh, stopping being an imposter. This is about showing the world her true self. And uh, until she does that, people will not believe her because she's not believable. So both cards show us a, a naked women, which is something that I just uh, some realized and uh, this is the way that she uh, wants people to see her. She wants people to believe that she is uh, sharing uh, her true self, the, that she is that person, but she cannot do that as long as she's not uh, understanding that uh, she needs to stop uh, pretending she's someone who she is not. So, what kind of action can she do to feel better about herself? And we get the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups in the upright position. This is the Six of Cups 
in the negative position and this is the six of cups in the upright position and the six of cups is a card of second chances but it is also a card of nostalgia and family so in order to feel better about herself in order to start a, a new page she needs to reconnect with her family she needs to give her family a new a, a second chance she needs to get out of her comfort zone this is what this card is talking about getting out of the comfort zone rectifying errors of the past uh, returning uh, to per to the people of the past your father, your sister, your brother, the royal family, reconnecting with your uh, with the families, reconnecting with the people that you have marked and left uh, behind you. When if you will do that, if she will do that, if she will give second chances to people, then she will start feeling good. But as long as she's not doing that, she is still an imposter. She is still uh, someone who is not, uh, she, she will never feel good about herself. So what is another message that she needs to hear? And we get the eight of swords so the eight of swords is a card about blockage and uh, uh, bondages uh, this is about being shackled so she needs to hear that right now she is blindfolded right now she's not acting out of the good energy and if she keeps on like that she will get it to the nine of swords which is worry that is justified because of the way that she's been acting this is someone who is emotionally blocked this is something that she needs to hear she is emotionally blocked and she has to go to start a uh, rectifying her past errors she needs to start telling the truth about herself. She needs to open her eyes to the world, open her eyes to other people, open her eyes and see how she can get out of those shackles because that woman is, uh, although she's really tied up, she can get out of that. In the right of weight uh, tarot, the woman is much more, um, I, I, I'm sorry, much less shackled than this woman. Megan is a lot more shackled. Her emotional problems are even greater than uh, the regular Eight of Swords shows us. Because in this place, we see a woman who is on her knees, not standing up like in the right of weight. So Megan right now, she's on her knees. She is in a place where she feels that she is... Uh, getting uh, very close to that uh, uh, rock bottom, which is the Ten of Swords. The storm is coming, and if she doesn't get out of these shackles, if she doesn't take off the blindfold, if she doesn't start rectifying her past errors, she will not uh, get to a good place. This card asks uh, her to be rational, to start acting from a rational place. And this is what this this is what swords means. Swords are cards of communication, are cards of planning, are cards cards of planning and uh, strategizing. And but this has to be out of cold. Uh, uh, reasoning and as long as she's not doing that as, as long as she's acting out uh, out of her emotional distress she will never get out of those shackles she will never uh, get out of that emotional blockage so the last card is why does she deserve what she gets and we get the high priestess so this is why, because she keeps the mystery. She keeps 
telling lies. She keeps lying about herself. She keeps lying about everything. And as long as she keeps that, and as long as she keeps being an imposter, she is getting what she deserves. This is exactly why. This is because she has uh, decided to act like uh, someone who is not herself. She is wearing a mask. She is an imposter. She doesn't want to work hard and uh, to be an apprentice. She wants everything right now. She wants the millions without doing the hard work. This is not how the world works. And as long as she's keeping secret as an, and the, the, uh, keeping the Pandora box closed and not telling the world who she really is, not showing her true face, the change will never come. The change won't arrive and she won't be able to change her uh, uh, her uh, true image. So uh, just in conclusion, uh, I would uh, this this spread shows that the main thing that she needs to do is reconnect with the family, reconnect with her past, give other pe the people that she marked another chance, and uh, start showing her com that she can be a compassionate person if she is a compassionate person. But right now, nobody can see that. This is something that nobody actually sees because she is not doing that, and she appears as someone who is cold-hearted and has no feelings. So I'm going to use the uh, Hidden Truth Oracle and ask what is the hidden truth behind Megan's mask? Let's see what we get. So first I'm going to clear the cards. Okay, so what is the truth behind Megan's mask? What is the truth behind Megan's mask? And I get it's time for me to heal now. So, this is something that she has to acknowledge. It's time for her to heal uh, her mental health difficulties. She, it's, it's time for her to start uh, the healing process. And the healing process includes uh, getting back to, in, uh, into contact with your family, healing that those wounds of uh, your family, your father, your sisters, and maybe even your mother, but uh, uh, healing the rift of the uh, with the with royal family. This is the time for her to heal. If she doesn't take that opportunity, if she doesn't start the healing process, then she will never, never be able to uh, change the image. Of herself and the next card is I'm becoming a better person so maybe she is maybe she is starting to uh, realize her mistakes maybe she is starting to become a better person uh, we will have to wait and see but uh, right now uh, she is not and she is she has to start healing in order to become a better person so this is it for this re uh, for this reading and I hope you liked it and if you did please like subscribe hit the notification bell and leave a comment of course so I'll see you in the next one bye